All right, I have my new Kasori multi cooker, and I'm going to use the recipe book that came with this. And today I'm going to make pasta carbonara. I'm going to follow directions exactly, and I like it because it calls for bacon and spaghetti, cheese, eggs, and that's about it. And some pepper. It's going to be so simple because first we're going to boil water in here. That's what's great about this multi cooker that you can boil, and then we're going to drain the boiled spaghetti, and then we're going to fry bacon right in there. Then we're going to add it all back in and complete our meal. Now I'm going to add eight cups of water, which I have to the side here. Eight cups. I'm going to turn it down here to stove function. See, we have stove, slow cook and oven. That's why this would replace all these appliances. Manual, rice, yogurt, boil. That's what I want right now. Boil and it goes to 212. And then press start. And when it comes up to temperature it'll beep and it'll have the temperature there. The recipe calls for a tablespoon of salt to the water and we like doing that anyway. Right? There's a tablespoon. Something like that. Got a little extra. All right. <laughs> Put the lid back on. Get it boiling. I need 12 ounces of spaghetti. This is 16, so I'm going to take four ounces out. It beeped and it told me it's at 212. And I hear it boiling in there. Look at that. And I had my 12 ounces of barilla spaghetti. I see it. All right. I did take four ounces out and I weighed it. I don't know if 16 ounces would hurt anything with the recipe. Watch this. Look how it fits in there. When was the last time you did that in a slow cooker? Multi cooker. Never. Alright, we're going to give that 8 to 10 minutes. I'll give it a stir in between. In the meantime, I'm going to dice up six slices of bacon as the recipe suggests. Let's cancel the boil mode. Because it's been boiling long enough. Nice. Check it out. I have a strainer here in the sink. I'm going to pour it into there. The recipe says to reserve one cup of this water. If I can get a whole cup. If not, I have another cup. I can cup into that cup. Reserve one cup of this liquid. The recipe calls for that because it makes the sauce thick and creamy. You'll see as we go. Put that back there for now. All right, I have these nice soft rubber grips I like too, but I still use a pot holder. I'm gonna pour this into my strainer. Drink, drain the water. Clean out the pot easily, a paper towel. Just clean this out, dry it. Cleans easy, you saw that the other day. And I have my bacon cubed up, six slices like they suggested. Get them going. All right, I'll show you while they fry. We're gonna set this on brown. 350 degrees, press start, and get the bacon sizzling. Now we can go to the next step, which is the eggs. It calls for one egg and one egg yolk. And quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. Ooh, I'm getting hungry. So let's see, one egg, one egg yolk, I'm gonna get all right. I'll, I'll let the white out over here and just get a yolk. And the yolk's on me. There you go. Now it calls for a quarter teaspoon of pepper, which I'm gonna estimate. I could have got a spoon out, but that's all right. And the quarter cup of Parmesan. They wanted me to mix this 
whisk it together. And we're going to add a half a cup of that spaghetti liquid when we're ready. This is going to be a good sauce. Yum. Bacon's done. My nose tells me. Can you see it? I would have added a pound or two to this. Woo! I'm going to take this out. Put on a paper towel for two minutes. Cancel that mode as well. Be right back. All right, let me just wipe that little bit of bacon grease out of there. Nice. See, we went from boiling to frying, and now we're gonna go to cooking. This is an amazing multi-cooker. I really like it. Can I add the spaghetti back in? Can you see okay? Remember, I had that set aside. I'm gonna add half a cup of this water that I reserved earlier. I'm gonna add my beautiful crispy bacon mm, that I would have added a pound or two. <laughs> Pasta carbonara. Gonna be good. Remember this mixture? I'm gonna add the other half of the pasta water that I reserved for that nice creamy cheesy sauce. I'm gonna add that right in here now. Mm. Oh. oh yeah. Okay. Now I have a big plate over there. See that wasn't too hard, it's done. It's finished. It smells cheesy and bacon. Mm. Sorry. Great, right, give me my big plate. Can't wait. That's a big plate. All right, let's take a taste of this because this is my supper. Come on over. Oh mm, boy, come on. Here it is. Mmm, smells so good. At this point, you can add more Parmesan cheese. Why not? More pepper, salt, whatever you like. Look at that delicious plate, though. Before I take a taste, which I'm dying to do, Kosori has a special just for you watching this video. And the offer is in the description below. Follow the link down there in the video description. Because they're so happy that you like my videos. And just for you watching, they have a special offer. Mmm. Mmm. This is an amazing cooker, isn't it? I really like that. <laughs> and I like this. This is delicious. This is my supper. Thanks, everybody. And thank you, Kasori. Check out Kasori's link down there. Mmm. More bacon. So where else can you boil, steam, fry, bake, make yogurt, make rice, slow cook, fried chicken? What other appliance will do that? <laughs> None that I know of. We're going to make something good next week. Or maybe tonight. Or maybe tomorrow. Alright, I'll talk to you soon. Mmm. So good. See ya.